Joining me now for a satirical look at all the insanity in the United States is satirist Alex Stein. Now, Alex, you're going to have to help me out here because your powers of perception are much greater than mine. There were two rallies in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania this week. We're going to put the footage up because I'm, I'm a little bit confused because one of them seemed to have an awful lot of people having a great time and uh, being very excited and very patriotic. And the other one looked like a, a funeral in a, uh, in, in a kind of uh, Seventh-day Adventist uh, uh, church or something or other. Um, that's I'm not, no disrespect to Seventh-day Adventists. Um, can you help me which of these was the president of the United States and which of these, I wonder, was the former president of the United States rally? Well, Rowan, I think it's easy to tell. I mean, Joe Biden, 81 million votes, the most popular president, even more popular than Barack Obama. I mean, it's not a surprise at all, Rowan. <laughs> and then we had Donald Trump. We had Donald Trump with uh, streamers and uh, yelling and carrying on. Uh, what's the mood around Trump, Alex? Well, I mean, Trump has this energy. I don't know if you, you obviously you're in Australia, you haven't seen these rallies, but these rallies are like a music festival. They're like Woodstock uh, yep. for adults. I mean, to go to this, they get to meet like-minded people. They get to have fun. There's merch. It, 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 you can judge a president basically based on their merch. Everywhere you go, you have a MAGA hat still. They're still very popular in America. But the mask, that has become the MAGA hat for the left. So when you have when you go to these concerts, you know, like that Donald Trump does, you can just tell everybody's wearing, they're so proud of their Trump gear. They have all their merch on. When you see the Biden stuff, nobody's wearing a Biden hat. Everybody's embarrassing Joe Biden. Even the people in his own party don't want him to run <laughs> in 2024. Um, so what 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 was your take on this uh, that virtually demonic uh, speech that uh, or demonic looking speech that uh, Joe Biden made during the week where it looked like something out of a horror movie or a cartoon of some kind of villains, a Team America type uh, weird stuff going on? What was your take on it? Well, just like everybody else's take, it reminded them something out of the Fourth Reich. I mean, it looked like, you know, some sort of um, Hitler-esque moment where he has the red, he has the soldiers behind him. And this is the problem, is that he speaks one way and says that we need to unify while, while demonizing people that are make America great again Republicans. So, listen, uh, most people are somewhere in the middle, row, and you probably know this, but by demonizing the far right, all that does is divide us down the middle, and that's what they want us to do. They want us to keep fighting each other so we don't go after these politicians that are making our lives terrible with their stupid legislation that doesn't benefit the American people. Now, tell us about uh, this. Uh, Donald Trump has come out and he's complaining that uh, his son, Barron, uh, had that they, the FBI actually rifled through his son's, uh, you know, bedroom. Uh, the obvious comparison being with Hunter Biden. If you rifled through Hunter Biden's bedroom, heaven knows what you would find. But <laughs> I don't think that there would be any comparison with Barron Trump's. No, Rowan, I mean, we have pictures of Hunter Biden smoking crack cocaine with multiple prostitutes. This is out in the open. No investigation. There is no public shaming whatsoever. As a matter of fact, the media has gone in... in uh, they have gone together to hide this. So it's not... The cover-up is almost worse than the crime, Rowan. So the fact that they're investigating Barron Trump, who probably has some mad magazines or, God forbid, a Playboy <laughs> magazine or something. But now, they're, now they won't even do a thing to Hunter Biden. It, it's, it's absurd. And that's the clown world that we're living in, Rowan. I'm so glad you mentioned Mad Magazine. The, my childhood came rushing back to me. Alex Stein, thanks so much. Great to chat to you. I'll chat to you again soon.